Hey everyone, it's Catalina. Long time no video. I'm really, really sorry. I've been busy for a couple of weeks lately. And finally, I got to film a tutorial. Today's gonna be a very, very, very simple and easy look. It's the Tiffany Red Lips look, and Tiffany meaning Tiffany from Girls Generation, which is a K pop group. I hope you guys enjoy this look, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Alright, first we're going to start off with a primer base. Today I'm going to use this Hera's Age Away Primer Base, pinkish, white, a little bit watery liquid. The reason why I use a primer is to smooth out my surface. Like for instance, I have a lot of acne going on right now and my skin is really, really rough. So just so the foundation could apply a little bit better, I use a primer. Today, I'm going to use this Hera HD foundation and then Estee Lauder's Double Wear foundation. I'm just going to pump a little bit. Try to... Whoop, too much. So I'm just going to use about this much. But today, I'm going to use a stippling brush. What I'm going to first do is I'm going to try to mix it up. Then I have foundation on here, and what I'm gonna do is just stipple it on my face. Next, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I actually have bangs that cover my eyebrows and my forehead, so I don't really care about my brows that much, but we'll just try to fill in some color to the little gaps. Next off, I'm going to use a cream base, so I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. If you don't have a cream shadow, you just have like a regular base, that's okay too. We're just using this so the shadow could adhere a bit better. I'm going to use a brown shadow today. I'm just going to use one from Lancome, and it's this color that I'm going to use. It's kind of like a dark brown. We're going to start from the back part, like right here, as you can see. See, just kind of sweep in the color and you don't want to pull the color all the way up here you just want to kind of leave it right there on the lid same here and then just using the color you just kind of want to pull it in I'm going to use a blending brush and a pink shadow. This is from MAC. It's called Pink Venus. I'm just going to try to blend it right here where the color ends. So it could kind of become a little bit natural. And you can kind of see the pink. But you don't want the pink too prominent. The camera's probably gonna make this side look a little bit more darker because light is actually coming in from this side but um, the colors are pretty even. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a dark brown eyeshadow and we're gonna draw the lower lash line but we're only gonna come halfway in. Halfway in. Using the same brown, I'm gonna use a small pencil brush and a dab a little bit like so and what we're gonna do is we're gonna feather out the color right here at the edge it's rather better to kind of build up the colors rather than just kind of putting a huge dab on it and then just trying to deal with it so just dab a little bit feather out the color. Like so. And then right here too. I'm going to use a liquid liner. This is from Lancome. It's called the Art Liner. Or just Art Liner. <laughs> when it comes to doing your eyeliner, you don't want to go in one stroke, you kind of want to make short strokes 
and draw out your line. I'm just gonna quickly curl my lashes. And then for the lashes today, I'm gonna use these diamond lashes. It's okay if you get glue on your eyeliner, usually it dries transparently, but if you just feel kind of iffy about it, you could just grab your thing again and kind of color it over. I like to reinforce the lashes like this by pushing them in while I just redo my eyeliner. Face-wise, I think we're almost done. If you want to use a bronzer just to make your face look a little bit slimmer, I'm going to use both of these today because if you look at Tiffany's picture, she kind of looks like she has both of them going on and I'm going to use a huge fluffy powder brush. The reason why I'm using this is because I don't want colors concentrated on my face. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab both of the colors. As you can see, it's kind of like that. I'm just going to go along side of my face. Huge sweeping motions. And you don't want to use too much because then you'll like look like you have a strip of color on the side of your face. Just kind of blend it in and sweep it up and down, up and down so you could add a tint of bronzer right there on the side of your face. Last but not least is the statement lips. Now if you look at Tiffany's picture, she kind of has like this really bright red with a tint of orange in it. Since I don't have a lipstick that has that kind of shade, I'm just going to make that shade. I'm going to mix two colors. This is from Makeup Forever. It's the Moulin Rouge lipstick and it's just bright berry red. With that, I'm going to mix this Berry M lipstick and it's 147. And it's kind of like a matte corally color. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of this lipstick on my hand. Really bright red. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of Berry M. Really matte and tough. So these two colors, using a lip brush, this is from Shremra. I'm just gonna try to mix these two up. Personally, I just hate lip pencils because they make my lips really itchy. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the brush. Yeah, let's just start from the middle. And I'd like to go cross like that and then cross like that. So make like an X and then gonna add a little bit of more red to this. Okay, I think that's about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys in my next video.